Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vim Labs webinar series on Remedy 9. The first webinar in this series is upgrading to BMC Remedy 9, things that you must know. I am Sneha Sinha from Vim Labs. Let me give you a brief description about Vim Labs. We are founded in 2003 and we specialize in BMC product implementation and support. We have helped many BMC partners and customers across six continents in their BMC projects. Today, Vishal Dhainje, a senior consultant at Vim Labs, will take us through upgrading to BMC Remedy 9 webinar. He brings in over 11 plus years of diverse experience in Remedy and BMC BSM technologies. And he is an ITIL expert. List of experts who will answer the questions include Prashant Deshpande, EVP Global Project Deliveries, Sunil Patel, Senior Consultant, Vishal Dhanje, Senior Consultant, Kiran Gurpade, Lead Consultant, Amol Vadakar, Lead Consultant. We will wrap up with the question and answer session and which will be for 15 minutes. Tweet your questions in advance, starting with hashtag remedy 9 upgrade tag. Our experts will take them live. You can also type your questions and go to meeting chat window while the webinar is going on. If time does not permit, then the experts will reply to your queries via emails or tweets. I'll turn it over to you, Vishal. Thank you, Sena. Thank you, Sneha. So today I'm going to talk about BMC Remedy upgrade to 9.0 and special case studies pinpointed with a solution. Many organizations face the challenges for an upgrade and I'm going to talk about Vyom Lab's expertise and experiences for the upgrade which will help you to perform a seamless upgrade. Let me walk you through the agenda for this webinar. Starting with the introduction, we have uh, business drivers, upgrade benefits, the upgrade process, case studies, Vyom Labs offerings, and the question and answer session. So every customer is unique and has their set of business processes incorporated into the tool to aid their compliance. So every customer has a special needs. For example, for telecom service desk, the data is huge and there are challenges to upgrade this data. With BMC 9, it is a revolution in IT service management and it is now smart, it is beautiful and more powerful. The business drivers for an upgrade are 7604 support is out of support from January 28, 2015 and it could be a business driver for the upgrade projects. We as Vyom Labs have our experience and expertise in performing upgrade projects since version 5.x we have performed the upgrades for 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8 and re with Remedy 9 we carry the expertise for the upgrade projects. Another business driver for ITSM upgrade is the benefits of the new features where the new features include the Re BMC Remedy 9 and the uh, fully mobile smart facilities where it is smart but, uh, since it has fully mobile and it supports the native app iOS and Android HTML files for your browser access. So it helps you to search the knowledge articles. You can work as a chain manager or service desk from anywhere. We'll talk about these benefits more in detail as we are proceeding with the webinar. It is now a context aware and a location aware. It means it gives you information based on who you are and where you are. It does have an embedded ITIL where it gives you a standard reports and KPIs so that you can start delivering value immediately. Remedy 9 is more beautiful. It is more than a user interface. It is about an experience that the users will get through the 9.0 usage. It is a persona based and is customized to your needs depending upon your role. You get to see the information that will help you to do your job more effectively. It is simple to use and quick to learn and it is now available with in-app analytics which gives you great reports without the complexity in using them as and when required. It is also social and collaborative. 
you can tap, follow, like, share. You can also chat with your team for an issue on a mobile device. The upgrade benefits include BMC Remedy 9 being 100% Java platform. This adds value to the product in the upgrade process where it uses the powerful platform of Java and supports the REST APIs which are can be very useful in an open heterogeneous environment whether it is a on cloud or on premise and it involves various integrations within the infrastructure. It, big, it comes with a number of pre-built integrations. It is faster than before. It is highly scalable and robust. The upgrades are now easy as compared to the earlier releases. We'll talk about it more in detail where through this webinar you are going to learn how simple it is to upgrade to Remedy 9. With the benefits of the upgrade, the customers now have a choice to compare and carry forward their customizations as compared to the earlier releases. Now the customers will get a choice to compare by using a three-way reconciliation which we'll be explaining more as we proceed with the webinar. It does provide the transparency within the IT and between IT and business by providing various reports and intricacies and with nine it has been introduced with BMC Remedy Smart Reporting where Smart Reporting will give you more details about the backend, uh, the uh, usage perspective where it is using a backend technology yellow fins. It is integrated with BMC Remedy and it delivers value in terms of having a report writer for a non-technical users delivering drag and drop simplicity for formatting and data selection. It is designed to reuse components such as source connections and views as much as possible. So this makes your reporting very easier and it has excellent reports which give you details uh, to the level where you want to understand a report in terms of the time frames to milliseconds. It will give you a different statistics analytics. The upgrade benefits with BMC Remedy 9 continue with the MyIT and SmartIT approaches which are making a difference in the market. There are now 3 million MyIT users as compared to the earlier data collection. There is a 75% increase in the service desk professional productivity and at the same time 50% increase in the service desk professional satisfaction. This brings value since it is three times the level of business workers self-service while at the same time a 20% point increase in the satisfaction with the service desk. Earlier in the market results you can see the MyIT and SmartIT post and with the service desk professionals earlier they could handle four calls per hour with SmartIT now they can handle seven calls per hour. That's one of the significant features, the smart features of Remedy 9. Enhancements to Remedy 9 upgrade process is what we are going to discuss. So we are not going to talk about the features or the enhancements of Remedy 9, but we are going to talk about the enhancement to the upgrade process itself. Our follow-up webinar will cover the new features and the enhancements that have been done to Remedy 9. This webinar is focused on the enhancements which have been done for the upgrade process. So with the enhancement to the upgrade process, there are new tools which have been introduced. So there is an enhancement to the BMC Remedy Configuration Checker Utility, new tool for capture snapshot utility. The developer studio uses the snapshot utility. You can use the snapshots to compare your customizations that you have done in your latest versions. For example, after upgrading to BMC Remedy 9, you might want to take a snapshot of your latest production server and use this snapshot to compare the customizations that you make after applying a hotfix or a patch or a service pack. So this brings a great value and it overcomes the hassle of the developers whenever there are patch upgrades or patch releases and this snapshot utility gives a better comparison user interface. 
The capture snapshot feature is not available with the Developer Studio 7604 until you have, uh, to, if you want to have it with 7604, you need to install the snapshot plugin which is available for 7604 to version 8.1 SP2. BMC Remedy deployment application is a new tool which has been introduced with Remedy 9. So this deployment application enables you to promote the standard changes effectively and reliably across your environments. So BMC Remedy deployment application provides a better control to promote your AR system object customizations and codes across your environment. So you can perform a deployment of your data as well as your definitions by using a deployment application. This utility will be very useful for the deployment from your development environment to your test bed and from your QA to your live production environment. With the enhancements to the upgrade process, it is now a simplified process. It involves reconciliation of AR customizations by using a three-way reconciliation and centralized configuration. In the earlier releases, the configuration files were scattered. The AR config file was at a different location. The plugin XML files were at a different location. The email demand process files were at a different location. With the simplified process, now all the configuration files are stored in a central configuration form and reflected in the AR config. So the configuration file is available at a central location and not only does it simplify the management of your configuration data, but also simplifies the sharing of configuration settings across the servers. So what does this file contain? So this file or the configuration data which is stored, it, it, it contains the AR system server configurations, your mid-tier configurations, your approval server configurations, your email engine configurations, and your Java plugin server configurations. With these enhancements to the upgrade process, let us now understand what will be the different roadmaps for an upgrade process. So you may be a customer who is using a version lower than 7604. So if it is a version less than 7604, there is a roadmap that you need to follow to upgrade to ITSM 9. If you have an instance which is a 7604 or 8.0, then there are a set of steps that you need to follow to upgrade to BMC Remedy 9. If you are using a version higher than 8.1 or maybe 8.1 SP2, then in that case there, is, there are a fewer steps that you need to follow to upgrade to Remedy 9. So this has been listed in the slide as you see Upgrade from the version earlier than 7604 requires your platform to be upgraded by creating overlays and using the BPCU utility to upgrade to a granular overlays. We'll talk about this in more details as we progress through the upgrade process. This gives us a comparison chart to understand the versions that we are and the complexity uh, of the version upgrade can be eliminated by following these simple steps which are concrete and we as Viom Labs have our framework which is in alignment to the BMC best practices to be followed and we will accelerate the upgrade process. So these are the upgrade uh, steps that need to be performed. There are pre-upgrade activities which involve setting up your environment followed with the steps for the upgrade process and the post upgrade sanity checks that are required during an upgrade of BMC Remedy 9. So upgrade, it had never been easier. It is an interactive upgrade tool guide which is provided by BMC that adds value to find the right information when you are busy in the process of upgrading your systems. So there would be various teams that would be involved as you see for or you have experienced in the earlier versions. You have your development and QA team and then different teams involved in the upgrade process 
and then the, there is no interactive upgrade tool guide for checking the milestones that you have accomplished as you are progressing. With the BMC Remedy 9, it is providing an interactive upgrade tool where you can perform a check for the milestones that you are reaching while you are performing the upgrade process activities. It is a non-invasive upgrade. It, the platform is a non-event. So through pre-checkers and the hardening of the upgrade process itself, it, it adds value since the platform upgrade completes with no errors and as quickly as possible. The customization and reconciliation tool gives a choice to the customers and it allows the customers to understand what has changed and easily makes the changes when conflicts are arising. For example, if the customers still have to make their business decisions on what to reconcile, it does require the overlays. This, redu this up to 50% reduces the time for the reconciliation of the customizations. In the earlier releases, it was a complex process for an upgrade, but with Remedy 9, it is a expedited process and the upgrades can happen seamlessly. Also, with BMC support opt-in to call home feature, BMC can proactively understand where you are in the upgrade and what steps you ran in the upgrade and where you stopped so that it can be a proactive support that will be provided throughout the upgrade process. Let me explain you the different environments that are required for an upgrade process. Depending upon the customer space and the, and the infrastructure available, you can have development environment, QA environment, and staging environment. Now, considering the time available for the session, we are going to focus on upgrade from version 7.6.04 or 8.0 to BMC Remedy 9. We'll not be covering the other cases of upgrade if you are using a 7.6.04 or a lower version or 8.1 version. So we'll talk about upgrading 7.6.04 in more detail as we progress through the webinar. So this is the high level overview of the upgrade process and the set of steps and the interactive tool available with BMC. We are going to focus on few critical and important steps where there are certain pinpoint uh, areas which need to be touch based for while doing or while executing that particular steps. So out of the 37 steps, we have chosen the important and the critical steps where additional focus and clarity uh, will be required as we are going to explain them more in detail. So towards the upgrade, this is the first step that you take. You set up your development environment, your QA servers, and your staging servers, which could be your production server post upgrade. So while you are doing that, you have a choice to select either the accelerated method or the duplicated method. Now what does accelerated method mean? It means your upgrade will be a database only upgrade. So first you take a production database backup and then you review the restrictions after restoring the data on after restoring the database on the development server. Once the review is completed you restore the production database backup copy on your development server and execute the AR server, AR system installer in install mode such that the AR system server is upgraded and not installed as a fresh server. So this process, while you are performing the activities in the accelerated method, you need to ensure that your database name, your database users, and database passwords must be the same as the production server. The database host name and the database port must point to the new database. Let me also explain you what is a duplicated method. So when you are performing a duplicated method approach to set up your environment, what you do is first you set up your development server with the exact installation version that is available on your production servers. So if you are using a 7.6.04 or, or a SP2 8.1 or 
you need to have the exact installation setup on the new development server along with the exact patches that are available on your production server. So once this has been completed on the development server, the duplicated install as a production server, the upgrade of the AR system server will run the installer in the upgrade mode. And post this upgrade mode, you will review the restrictions after restoring your production database. So this is a duplicated method where the installation needs to be replicated of the instance that you are running currently in your production environment. Once this step is completed, there is a pre-upgrade and configuration checker. So this pre-upgrade and configuration checks are performed in order to understand the pre-checks as per BMC best practices and the configuration checks for the components such as BMC Atrium Core, BMC Remedy Action Request System, BMC Remedy ITSM, BMC Remedy ITSM Process Designer, BMC Service Level Management, and Service Request Management along with the Unified Data Management. Once this process is initiated, it has a purpose of doing a pre-check upgrades and a configuration checks. So the pre-check upgrades are performed before upgrading any or all of the components from the ITSM suite. Once the pre-upgrade checks are completed, then the configuration checks are performed before installing any component from the ITSM suite. Once this purpose is accomplished, the usage part involves obtaining the utility. So you need to obtain the pre-upgrade checker utility and the first step towards usage is to obtain the config checker version number build number dot zip which will, which will be installed and the preference will be set with the version report mode. Once the version report mode is completed, you run the utility uh, by using a different modes. The different modes are graphical user interface so there are executable modes. It could be a command line interface. For example, it could be a config checker.bat or a sh file, or it could be in a silent mode where it could be a config.xml file for executing the utility. Once the utility is executed, you will view the log files which will be located uh, in the log directory of the config checker utility as a text file. And post the log files, you can view the reports which is a HTML output. So once you execute this utility in different modes, the output that is generated is a graphical interface or it could be a HTML file or it could be a command line interface. This output gives the summary and any errors or warnings or information that is available as an output of the pre-checker utility. Once this pre-checker utility is executed and the output is available, you perform the next steps towards the upgrade by taking a snapshot of your development server. As I explained in the previous case, you can use the BMC Remedy Developer Studio to take a snapshot of your workflows. Once that is completed, you upgrade the platform. Now, when you are upgrading the platform, it does include along with your AR system server, your BMC Remedy mid-tier, your BMC AR, AR system server, your Remedy Enterprise Security, your uh, Remedy Smart reporting as it comes as a bundled solution with Remedy 9. Along with the platform upgrade, the components other than the listed out are BMC Atrium Core, so it covers the Atrium CMDB, Atrium Core Web Services and BMC Atrium Integrator. If you have upgraded BMC Air Server, then it is mandatory for you to upgrade the Atrium Core. The configuration drift management version of 9.0 is not yet released, so you must upgrade to version 8.1 SP2 if you are not of that version already. Now, once the platform upgrades are performed, the next step is towards converting your customizations to granular overlays. So how you do that is you validate your customizations 
uh, even if you are using 7604, 7604 had the concept of overlays, but it did not cover granular overlays. So before you start using the view overlay with the upgraded AR system server, please ensure that only the fields with the customizations are included in the view overlay. Fields that do not have customizations are not included in the view overlay. You remove any unneeded granular overlays so that you can use the existing customizations after an upgrade. So the fields without customizations inherit the updates to the base properties when you apply a hotfix or an upgrade to the AR system server in the near future. How you can perform the adjustments to your customizations is by using one of the following methods. By using the developer studio, you adjust your object overlay types and you fix your form view overlays. Or you can either do the adjustment by using a granularity analyzer. BMC developer studio provides two options in this area when you are converting your customizations to granular overlays. One is the object granularity level and the other is unmodified fields in the view. So it identifies and removes unmodified fields from a view overlay. For a selected form, the unmodified views, there is a utility which lists the unmodified fields that are added to the forms view overlay. You can remove these fields from the overlay of a single view or multiple views where the field is present. So the unmodified fields removed from the view overlay inherit the base property and the fields that are added to the overlay continue to retain their customizations. This makes the upgrade process very easy. Once the conversion of your customizations to granular overlays is completed, then you reconcile AR customizations. So the reconciliation is based on the comparison of the new object definition with the original object definition and overlay object definition with the original base object. So the reconciliation process, it compares the snapshot which you have taken in the earlier steps. Then it generates the objects to the reconciliation list. For example, the objects could be active links, it could be filters, it could be forms, it could be fields. So it generates the list of objects and then selects the old definition source for reconciliation and it creates a new packing list. So this list is available for the review and to understand the difference that is available in the new workflows and your existing customizations. Post the review, you can perform a reconciliation to carry forward your customizations or either use BMC best practices workflows with the BMC Remedy 9 release. So in the developer studio, you can perform reconciliation by either moving the customizations, which is a preferred option, or inline editing or a copy and paste. Please note that the reconciliation is not supported for images and associations. Once the reconciliation activity is completed, you complete the unit testing for your development server and then you create a deployment package. So how you create a deployment package is you make use of the new application that has been available with BMC Remedy 9 and create the deployment package. So while you are creating a deployment package, you complete the, uh, you finish creating a deployment package and you are ready for migrating your customizations from your dev server to your QA server. And how it can be done is by using a dev to production utility. So if the all customizations are captured in overlays and custom objects, then, <coughs> sorry, if all, then the BMC Remedy deployment application will be used to migrate the customizations. If not, then you can use export import feature of BMC Remedy Developer Studio or you can use BMC Remedy Migrator tool. So these two can be used in a scenarios, export import and migrator tool where the customizations include the base object changes.
with this you complete the migration to your QA and then to your production live environment. So this is a simple process for an upgrade and with that I would like to elaborate on the case studies that Viom Labs as an experience we have picked up few case studies from our vast experience and I'm going to talk about more in detail for these case studies. So the first one is for one of the largest BMC partner in Europe which had complex customizations and the scope involved upgrading these complex uh, customizations to uh, Remedy version 9. So the architecture was a standalone architecture with 139 users and the challenges that were involved for this project were a custom field which was moved from an incident best practice view to out of view section. So we had adopted the solutions to move the field back to the best practices view and customized the out of the box atrium integrator transformations were overridden by an upgrade. So this atrium integrator transformations which were custom transformations they need to be rebuilt with movement from Remedy 9. The second case study talks about one of the largest telecom company in Americas and it had a multi, uh, multi local uh, environment where it, they were using English, Portuguese and Spanish interfaces of BMC ITSM version 7604. It involved medium customizations and was staged with uh, 10,000 plus users along with a server group environment. The challenges in, in this particular project included categorization link with which does not break once the upgrade has been performed. So you need to manually uh, manually fix the link or disable the link once the upgrade is completed. Also one of the challenges if you are using a non Unicode database when upgrading with a Unicode database it gives a lot of errors. It, it, it does not allow you to start the BMC remedy services. So to to, to overcome this particular uh, challenge and the corner case related to lo localization, what you need to do is you, you need to perform a checks on your AR config file by disabling the DB character set entry and by disabling or commenting the AR monitor file entries which are, which are available for all the services that are included in the resolution as the resolution. We have two more case studies to talk about. Uh, as we progress through the uh, session and uh, one of the case study is for a larger IT outsourcers where it involved high volume of customizations as compared to the complex customizations. So you, there might be customers who have a high volume of customizations and the scope involved upgrading this high volume of customizations to Remedy 9. In a server group environment how you perform this upgrade is you need to perform the upgrade on uh, the primary server initially and then one by one you proceed to the secondary servers and the servers that are a part of the server group environment. So in this particular project there were challenges such as pre-checker utility and reconciliation of the customizations. So pre-checker utility challenges were overcome with the new release of the free checker available with BMC Remedy, BMC support and that addressed the issues that were there for pre-check utility. The reconciliation of customizations was a challenge uh, because it was a high volume of customization and the appropriate documentations were not available. With the Biom Labs value framework we exercised and analyzed the, the environment and collated the documentation for the customizations which acted as a resolution for this particular challenge. Last but not the least case study is for one of the largest BMC partner where there is a bespoke application and the product is built over Remedy. So there could be clients who are interested to BMC Remedy 9 upgrade but they are not but they do not want to have ITSM suit upgrade they just want to have a platform upgrade so for those customers this is a, a case study which talks about the scope of upgrading the platform so we had imp implemented this project of upgrade where a bespoke cost IT application is integrated with 
BMC out of the box incident management version 8.0 and it was a stage environment with a standalone server which is virtualized. So the challenges were 9.0 developer studio was unable to compare the objects between the reference server and the upgraded server when a snapshot was taken through the older version of developer studio. As a resolution, if you use 9.0, this particular challenge is overcome and then your developer studio is able to compare the objects from the reference server and the upgraded server. With these case studies, we have uh, Viome Labs uh, offerings for Remedy 9 upgrade as a package service and the offerings talk about the inputs where we understand the BMC Remedy uh, version platforms in great details and as an input uh, for this process, we, we are offering it for 7604 or 8.x upgrade with a fixed cost, fixed time, upgrade to Remedy 9. The output is, the ultimate output is a Remedy 9 upgrade and the system which will be handed over up to a UAT or a pre-UAT stage. So duration of the upgrade with our experience and our expertise is 3 to 8 weeks. The cost is fixed cost and it included in the upgrade is a technical upgrade and the versions assumed are 7604. The delivery mode could be on site, offshore or a combination of both. So if the customizations are done following the BMC best practices, then the upgrade will take care of the existing customizations and we would be able to deliver the BMC Remedy 9 upgrade in a period of three, three weeks. So the next step towards the upgrade are customization testing and fixing or it could be integration testing and fixing or a delta data migration to match the volume of the delta data uh, from your production co-live environment. With this uh, Viom Labs offering, we proceed to the next section, which is the question and answer section. And we have a team of expert panelists, uh, Sunil, uh, Amol, Kiran, and uh, Zamir for, for your, the session. So uh, we have got few uh, of the queries. Let me uh, read out a few of them. Like, uh, how does the deployment application fit into the migrator strategy? So uh, the answer would be like, the deployment application will help to migrate the code as well as the data from one environment to the another, that is from dev to test or from test to production environment, uh, but mainly the uh, it is used to migrate the customization from one environment to another environment. So, so uh, let me take uh, another query. Uh, is a heavily customized environment. Uh, how will the developer snapshot Will be useful so as explained uh, the snapshot captures the remedy object before upgrade and after upgrade the snapshot will be used to compare the old object and new objects so this is the three-way reconciliation another query do you need to have a staging server? Yes, definitely you will need a staging server for this upgrade. Another important query. Uh, upgrade roadmap slide showed uh, upgrade from version 7604 or 8.0 with a single step for upgrade application to 9.0 for, uh, for 7604. Is the really uh, just a single application install or uh, is it an upgrade? So it is a uh, single step upgrade from 7604 to 9. Uh, 
another query uh, can we upgrade a custom non idsm uh, that is the ars from 8.1 to 9.0 yes definitely you can upgrade it from 8.1 to 9.0 only the ars part So I think uh, these were the queries so far. I think I'll take this one. So the question is, if there are filters which are out of the box and if it is customized by the client and the same filter is customized by the new version. So how you handle is with the upgrade utilities it gives you a detail about the workflows for your forms filters your fields and you can then check your staging server and your reference server in order to understand the filter qualifications that are used in your staging server and your reference server based on that you can take corrective actions and you can proceed with the uh, uh, you can have a choice and you can proceed with the new version best practices workflows for that particular filter. I think we are getting a lot of tweets. Uh, yeah. So we are trying to pick up a few out of them. So uh, one question is related to the CMDB customizations. Uh, if the environment contains the CMDB customizations, uh, does it have any effect on the upgrade? So when you are performing an upgrade uh, with the CMDB customizations, the installation CMDB itself, it gives you a list of the customized fields which are present and they need to be changed. Since in the earlier releases, the source form was a was with the AST attributes with the new releases the source form needs to be changed and the UI needs to be updated post upgrade of BMC Remedy 9. Very interesting questions though. Yeah. Uh, Amul, I'll take up this one. Sure. It's, it's related to SLM. Sounds very interesting. So for SLM, uh, during the upgrade process, uh, uh, the question is related to does it have any effect uh, for the related or the relationships with the underpinning and the OLS. So while you are performing the upgrade with BMC Remedy 9, the SLM module, certain SLAs needs to be checked post the upgrade. And if required, they need to be rebuilt so that they attain the same SLAs and the relationship with the OLS and the underpinning contracts. And this one uh, again from the tweet, uh, how about my IT? Uh, uh, is it necessary with Remedy 9? So again, it depends upon your uh, requirement so, uh, uh, so it is just an uh, enhancement for this SRM part. If you want to have the front end, uh, then you need to have this MyIT. I guess this is related to SSO. So I'm just trying to uh, under uh, read it again. So it is a Atrium SSO related question, but uh, it is related to an upgrade. So the question is AR system and Atrium SSO uh, version 8.0, if it is there, how does the upgrade of Remedy 9 affect the SSO 8.0? So it's very interesting. Uh, we are on the SSO 8.0 platform and AR is 9.0. So what happens in this case is the upgrade to version 9.0 and mid tier, it breaks the integration with the SSO server. So the workaround to this uh, to, to this particular case is you rerun the 9.0 SSO integration utilities on your AR and mid tier 
to work with the SSO version 8.2. So that will retain the SSO integration with the new upgraded AR ITSM 9. Hey, thanks, Vishal. So uh, one more good question from one of the audience, like uh, about the reporting server, uh, smart reporting server. Do we need to uh, have the uh, separate hardware or uh, do we need the uh, increased hardware, hardware requirement? So basically, BMC uh, recommends like you need to install the smart reporting on a separate hardware, OK, separate server. So that would help you in the uh, performance of your uh, remedy server as well as the reporting server. And it, it could be on a shared server as well, but you need then high-end hardware to, to support that architecture. Yeah. All right. So uh, there is another question about how challenging the data migration can be from 7.6.04 to BMC Reliability 9. So it, it it, it, the, as we are following two methods uh, for setting up the environments with the accelerated and the duplicate method, the accelerated method gives us a database upgrade and makes the migration of the data from 7604 to 9 quite easy and seamless. So while this has been this while this approach has been uh, op obtained for the accelerated method, the volume of the data will define the time required for the upgrade in such cases. I believe that question was from uh, Oliver Popula. I'm sorry if I have mispronounced it. <clears throat> so the <clears throat> so another query: uh, if the prod server uh, is in server group. Uh, should the staging server be the same? So uh, for this upgrade, you will definitely require a staging server. Okay, and once uh, the primary server is been upgraded, then you can go for the other secondary servers uh, for the upgrade and get it into the server group. Yeah, I'm also, let me take the another one. Uh, yeah. This is related to the user tool uh, 7604. So one of the audience is asking about, can we install the user tool 7604 uh, version on the same server where we install the Remedy 9? So uh, that that uh, that person is already saying like he knows like uh, BMC does not support the BMC user tool from 8.2 onwards. But uh, did we install user tool of 7604 on machine where we installed Remedy? So basically, um, as you know, from 8.1 onwards, user tool is no longer supported. Uh, it will not be supported as there will be behavioral differences if you use it along with the 9. Dot, or oh, Remedy 9. Remedy 9. Yeah. We are just looking for uh, last few questions. Uh, if we would be able to pick it up uh, from the list of the uh, chat questions available. Uh, the panelist is uh, trying to answer a few of the questions while uh, the session was progressing throughout. So uh, let's let's try to pick up few. Uh, for example, uh, which OS uh, is supported for BMC Remedy 9 upgrades? Amol, would you like to take that one? Yeah. Uh, so the uh, supported OS as of now, uh, or which we have tested, it is the Windows OS with uh, MS SQL as a database. Yeah, and uh, uh, Oracle with Linux as an OS. Thank you, Amol. The panelist is just going through the uh, question list and trying to address. Okay. 
so would this session be uploaded somewhere so uh, i guess uh, kunal will be the right person to address this question sure so we'll be covering this entire series and we'll be loading the series together uh, however there are a couple of participants uh, because of overwhelming response were not able to join the session so we'll be sending the recording to all the registrations of this webinar uh, it'll take us a couple of days to compile it and uh, it'll surely get thank you thank you kunal and there is a question from robin ashford uh, his question is uh, uh, related to the technical upgrade issues uh, for example ddm and freeze changes and queue and production uh, not being covered in the part of uh, during this session the reason is uh, being is the time duration uh, available for the webinar uh, we would definitely would want to cover if we had more time and talk more about the qa and the production and how the parallel activities are executed for the qa while the development activities are proceeding through step 8 and step 9 we can progress or have parallel steps uh for step 10 can be a parallel step uh, for a development and a qa followed with steps 11 and 12 so there are a lot of detailing uh, which is further uh, going in the session and considering the time we were not able to cover all the uh, exact qa and the production uh, details we have been pointed special uh, cases where more detailing or attention would be required to understand the upgrade process uh, as a overall activity and 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 uh, with kunal's input uh, thank you kunal we have two more sessions uh, a series of webinars where uh, we could consider your uh, suggestions and uh, try to have the alignment of the webinar through these sessions so there is a query uh, for uh, whether the uh, migrator will be get replaced with this deployment application no it will not get replaced uh thank you very much everyone uh, for attending this session uh, thank you very much uh, vishal and the uh, team of panelists i'm all uh karen uh sunil and everyone uh thank you very much for being here uh we look forward to having you at the uh, in the next two parts of this uh, series of webinars uh we'll be sharing the uh, details of uh, both of them uh, in the later part i will also be sharing the recorded version of this webinar uh, uh after a couple of days um, for any queries that you have uh, please feel free to uh, write us Uh, uh at info at vomlabs.com where we can take them uh, and answer them um thanks for being a wonderful audience have a great day ahead thank you bye bye